take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain We'll take it in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I am sitting in a light here, so I thought I'd quick film an intro. I have a pretty busy day planned with some various different things. So uh, we just dropped the boys at school, and I'm gonna stop at Home Depot really quickly to pick up some more storage containers to store some of my staging stuff. We're going to be emptying a house today that I had staged, oh, I don't know, a month and a half or more ago, and we're finally able to take the stuff out. And so I thought I might just kind of show you guys that house before I like deconstruct it. <laughs> We're gonna, yes ma'am. <laughs> she gets very impatient. <laughs> as soon as I like put the car in park, she thinks like we have to leave the car now. And also today I have to go clean my portion of our church house. We divide it up um, weekly with like four ladies and it comes around like, I don't know, every quarter or something. So I gotta go do my portion of it today. And also this morning I'm going to see a house that Nick is showing to some clients <laughs> and they're interested in buying. And so I am actually gonna go along. I don't often do this anymore, but it's probably gonna work out if I get myself home quick enough. So, and also wanted to say thank you guys for the congratulations and well wishes on our pregnancy announcement last week. Uh, we are just excited and thank you all for being excited with us. So I've got to scram. I got to quickly go get that stuff and head home. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Boxes. So since I know I'm gonna have a busy day, I am gonna put a roast in the crock pot for tonight. Mm. Super easy. I like Oldie's chuck roast the best, honestly. And this one is a pretty small one, but I had done grocery pickup there. So generally I like to put beef broth in, but if I don't have beef broth, I use chicken broth. Works just fine. So I just usually put some in there. Then I just go ahead and season it really well with different seasonings. So pepper, salt, garlic powder, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the Traeger rub, which is a garlic chili pepper rub. I honestly, I never do it the same, so feel free to season as you like. And then I like to put on some Worcestershire sauce. Put some in there, gives extra flavor. One stick of butter. You can do less if you don't want a whole thing, but it honestly really helps. So I usually like to put in baby carrots. I just realized I don't have any, which really makes me sad because I love putting carrots in there. But I don't know if I'm going to take the time to go get some. I usually like to put potatoes in, like we eat them with like uh, baked potatoes with like sour cream, shredded cheese and stuff. But I'm actually out of those and I just realized I still have some leftover of the twice baked potatoes. I'd made another batch of those. I showed you guys in a video like a couple ones back. So I'm probably just going to reheat those. Nick's not eating a lot of that type of thing anyway. It's more just like protein and stuff right now. So he won't really need it. So it's mostly just the boys. So I think I'm just going to do that. And I could grab a couple out of the freezer if I need to. That way we have potatoes to go with our roast. Okay, so we're at the house that we're going to be showing Nick's clients. And we'll go inside. I may try to film a little bit, so... Maybe that would be interesting to some of you guys.
What do you have there? Who's that? Who is it? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> She's very enthralled with Peppa Pig, and I found her a little uh, Peppa Pig house and some more figures and stuff. Oops. At uh, Once Upon a Child, and I had gotten these somewhere else, and she just she thinks it's pretty cool. Uh oh, Peppa Pig. Uh oh, is that George or Peppa? Is that Peppa? George. George. My little brother George. <laughs> He's trying to snort. All right. Let's go see if we can get some work done. Cheese. Cheese. All right, so we're done at the house. As you saw there, a couple clips. They didn't take too much, but um, I went back home. Nick is working. He is crazy busy this week. And um, I am gonna go try and start on the house. I have Oakland with me, so I'm not sure how it'll go, but we'll see. Not too many other choices at the moment, so yeah. Um, the house that we looked at, they're not gonna put an offer in on the house. It's, the market down here is completely still crazy. There's people coming here buying with cash and way over asking price. So it's it's really hard to even like have a chance sometimes. So I mean, you really have to have your ducks in a row before even looking at places. Um, you've got to have everything lined up and just, yeah, it's, it's insane right now. So I'd be curious to know if the markets where you guys are, how those are at the moment. Um, we've definitely learned so much in the time Nick has been a realtor, just in how things work and yeah, it's it's quite interesting, so. I'll show you a little bit before I take things down. Put that here. Let's see if my air mattress is still, hey, it's still inflated. And there she goes. <laughs> I think it's pretty fun. I just use air mattresses to use in my houses that I stage. There's a pool in the backyard and a little pool house. And then kitchen. This is a very typical Florida kitchen in the middle with ceilings like this. And then I used my article table over here in the bench. Same setup as I kind of did at uh, our Beneva flip house. And then I put a console table here and did not do anything in the bedrooms. Brace yourselves, it's blue. Um, here we just put a curtain, some rugs and towels to warm things up, a little bit of green, a picture, definitely helped it a lot. And then put these chairs over here. So that's pretty much the extent. I am gonna put some linens and things away. I feel like I don't even know where all my bins were. <laughs> I might even have to buy more, I don't know. But yeah, I need to get at it. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain.
Okay, I feel like I got a good head start, so I'm gonna quit for now. I'm gonna go take her over to my mom's, maybe grab a bite to eat. So, I had to stop at Detweiler since I was going by anyway for one of their acai bowls. I don't know if this is considered a craving, but I get them somewhat frequently. I had eaten a couple hours ago. I'm like always hungry, it feels like. So this is just kind of like a smaller meal and I got some uh, Milo's sweet tea. So I have slowed down significantly in the last month or so. We've kind of made a couple business changes and things. Uh, we're just kind of slowing down in that area and Nick's stuff has been picking up, which is amazing. So I'm basically just finishing the two houses that I had that I've been working on for a while already. I'm not highly involved at this point and I'm mostly just gonna be doing stuff at the end, the furnishing, like decorating. So I've been working on like getting stuff ordered and all of that, but um, that workload has definitely slowed down and hopefully by the end of the year, we'll kind of have phased out that part of it. We're just kind of reevaluating some things, figuring out what works for us and what doesn't. I kind of feel like the staging part of our company might kind of be the thing that we'll try to push, I guess. If we want to push anything, we won't be taking on um, new clients at this point. Uh, just, I don't know, it's just, it just feels like too much and it's not exactly what I want to be doing right now in other words with another baby coming and just stressful and things like that I just I want to be able to slow down and it's maybe not what we thought originally as far as what we wanted to do but I'm finding that for this season of life and we'll see what happens in the future it's not really what I want to keep pursuing the whole uh, renovating for other people and that kind of thing or like furnishing sometimes I feel like you have to just try things before you really know is this for us or is it not and I think it's okay I like it's sometimes stuff just you have to kind of try it before you really know and we'll likely do some renovating and stuff on our own uh, we might get into some projects and things like that and in all of this, it has made it possible for Nick to be able to grow his real estate business and for that I'm grateful and I hope that it can continue. Uh, we're just so thankful for all of you guys. Uh, I know that a lot of this is made possible by just you guys just supporting us and watching us. You know, there's a lot of people have, you know, made contact with us. Um, for like real estate stuff just through all of that and so we're so grateful for it and God has just been really good he's been faithful and I want to just trust him for the future I want to be able to enjoy the stage that we're in a bit more and not be so crazy busy all the time so today is a bit of an exception uh, it is definitely a bit more busy but it's okay it's it's just some days are like that, you know. So that was kind of a long tangent, uh, but I thought I'd just kind of give you an update on what's been happening. It's it's just been kind of an interesting season of life and we're just trying to roll with it, I guess. So I'm out of church. And my job is gonna be to straighten up all of the Sunday school rooms or playrooms, nurseries, you name it. home this I could smell from the garage oh look at that it's literally like falling apart and I did grab some grab some carrots at Detweiler's to add into there so hopefully those will get soft quite a bit more salad lately and 
I'm gonna have a bit of salad. That might be a strange afternoon snack, I don't know, but in any case, I'm gonna enjoy my quiet house for just a little bit and sit down. I got the church cleaned and it didn't take terribly long. I cleaned my portion of it, I should say. Well, kiddos are home from school. So someone from uh, Instagram friends, but I kind of know her in real life now, um, gave them two of these sets. We used to have them back in the day. I don't even know what they're called. What are they called? Plus plus. Building. Hmm. Plus plus. Plus plus. Okay, so plus plus. Anyway, then I got them some more the other day, but now they're kind of annoyed at me because I guess I got something that is too hard for them to build. Way too hard, not just too hard. I got, the one I got is like an alligator. I'm gonna show you my thing I built. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's not even what it was supposed to be. Yours no, was supposed to be a, a dolphin, but he built a top because he did one with the other one, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Peppa Pig. Well, are you looking for Peppa Pig? Where are they? Doing Peppa Pig. Oh, okay. So cute. <laughs> what? Did you take a nap at Grandma's? <laughs> she was sleeping when we were there. You what? She was sleeping when we were there. You were? Did you sleep long? Good job. No, not really. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I don't need any more, really. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I like your bow. I got her some new bows. Chick Pip Squeak, I think. I ordered some. Your ma your hair very messy though. taking very long. Mom and Dad came now to help with the heavier stuff. Okay, so that was a long day, and I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along. I hope you just felt encouraged in some way. So thank you so much for watching, supporting our channel. I really, really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Bye, guys.